The most common belief that we hold as survivors about narcissists, psychopaths or sociopaths is that they lack the ability to choose. They do not have the capability to behave in a certain way in a given circumstance. We believe that because of the trauma they have been through in their childhood, they are made to behave like this. They are suffering and that's why they are behaving like this. But the truth in fact is completely opposite of that. The truth is that they have the capability to choose. And the choice they make completely depends on their motives, desires, what they want to achieve and why they want to manipulate or lie. Let me show you an interview. An interview with a diagnosed sociopath. His name is Daishi and he talks about how he chooses to manipulate or not to manipulate. And you will see how he chooses not to manipulate the one who is interviewing him. So let's watch the video now. What is it like to be you? I'll say it's pretty average. To be honest, um, if you were on the outside looking in, you would say that it was pretty boring um, because for the most part, I don't... Now, now I, what I tend to do now is I tend to just really stick to myself um, because I have to be very careful about how I'm interacting with people and under what context I'm interacting with people. Um, so I tend to limit anything that would be negative for me. Why do you have to limit yourself? Um, because if I encounter a certain kind of person um, and if I'm talking to you and I sense a level of weakness, um, I get kind of the urge to prey upon that in a way. So in order for me to kind of mitigate that, I definitely limit my, my social interactions. Um, and I have to make sure it happens underneath the right context. Otherwise, I just, you know, I, I, I try to stay away from it. Could you see that? He used the word urge. He didn't use something like a word which shows that he's compelled to behave in that way. So if it is an urge, it can be controlled. And he's talking about the choice he has made. And I appreciate him for that. I have to be fully transparent. Mm -hmm. When you reached out to me and I read your diagnoses, mm -hmm. I thought to myself, can I trust him? Mm -hmm. Can I give him the platform of our audience who I care deeply about? Mm -hmm. Are you going to try to manipulate me? Are you going to try to manipulate our audience? Are those valid concerns? Those would be valid concerns, for sure. Um, but as I said earlier, you know, I don't, I don't, I, 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 I would say I like what you do um, because definitely people have voices that need to be heard. Um, and I would hate to, you know, disturb that process in any way. When you say prey on somebody, what do you mean? Um, so the way it would work for me is um, I'll speak to someone. I won't really tell them much about me. They'll tell me about them. And then once they tell me about them, I'll kind of form a, a personality. I'll exaggerate certain features about my own personality to match what it is that they're looking to see. Um, and then once I once I get my goal, whatever that goal is, then I'm kind of I'm done with the situation, and then I move on. So would it be correct to say that when you meet somebody, you kind of size them up, mm -hmm. and you say, okay, this person shouldn't or should be manipulated? Um, it's not should or shouldn't be. Um, if I have something that I want to get, then I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to get it. Since I walked in here and we started talking. Mm -hmm. Have you sized me up at all and analyzed any of my weaknesses and how they could be manipulated? <laughs> I mean, uh, when I was watching your videos, I mean, I thought about it. Um, but I wanted this to be kind of like more of an honest format. But no, I didn't, I don't, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to. And it's also, I don't really gain anything from doing that in this situation anyway. Could you see that? How he chose not to manipulate the person who was interviewing him. Could you see that how it depends on the person, how it depends on them, and how they have the capability to behave in a certain way in a given circumstance. So this is the biggest proof. This is a sociopath talking about the choice and using the choice himself in the circumstance where he could have manipulated the person and the person wouldn't even have felt it. Now comes the most important question. The question most of you seek answer to. And the answer this person gives can change your perspective, can change how you see things, 
can change how you see yourself and can change how you see them. What would you say to the people you've heard in the past? I would say, I wouldn't even say that I hope you can forgive me. I would say it's more so I hope you can forgive, you, forgive yourself. Um, there's not anything wrong with you. Um, you are still perfectly fine as a person. Um, and I would say basically, I won't say don't take it so personally, don't, but don't look at it like, you know, there's something wrong with you. You know, it, it was something that was wrong with me. Basically. This is why I have been saying this. This is why I have been trying to get my point to you that there is nothing wrong with you. Because most people keep saying that you are codependent, you have this and that, you attract these people because you have a deficiency within you, all those opinions. But the truth is, you saw him saying that there is nothing wrong with you. Remember, the only thing that you are trying to do is to give love, is to be there for them and try your best. That's it.